everybody, we can gather now. Everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. My name is Carolina Rivera Fernandez. I'm the director of the Grajalvis and Public Programs here at the San Francisco Arts Commission. And thank you for being here tonight celebrating Juan Alicia and this incredible exhibition.
It's a return to a place that is very familiar to me, a place that has really shaped who I am as a person, also has really shaped me in, in terms of who I will be becoming as an art, as an art historian and, and a curator. Um, I also want to say that my return to the Bay Area is quite named through this project because um, I've been able to return to an artist that has really enhanced my sense of purpose in the arts um, and has really kind of given me more texture to the way I live my life and the way I understand what it means to work with artists. Um, and most importantly, I will say I've learned to be like, it's been really great uh, having a friendship with Juan Alicia yeah, these last few months. <laughs> like, it's just incredible to be friends with someone like Juan Alicia, that's all I really want to say. Um, she is fun. She is fun. <laughs> And um, a couple other things I do want to say is that um, I've been thinking a lot about the, so I'm not really going to talk to you about the show. I'm just going to talk about things I've learned through the show. So, you know, one, one, of the, one very important lesson I've learned is thinking about the politics of care. So what does it mean to care for art objects? And also what does it mean for us to care for those who have really paved the way um, to, for us to be able to do this kind of work, right? Um, so with that said, I do want to, is Laura Perez here? Laura, are you here? No, she's not here. Um, so, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, what it means for me to work with artists, uh, Chicana artists, um, who have really paved the field of Latinx and Chicanx art. Um, and so I wanted to acknowledge the work also of Laura Perez. Um, really, you know, like, she's like the madrina of Chicana art in terms of writing about Chicana art, um, Chicana artists, Chicana artists as well. Um, and also I want to acknowledge the work of Omin Chaboya, who has been a great mentor of mine. And has also kind of helped us write the art history that remains to be written. Um, I also want to thank Lisa Dorian. Um, Lisa Dorian is the deputy director at the Williams College Art Museum, and she allowed me to workshop the the, um, the exhibition back in the fall. Um, and the biggest question that came out of that was, you know, how are you going to show? A, how are you going to do a show about muralism in a gallery? Right. Um, so as you may see, a lot of the works that are being featured are studies, um, and I think the work. It's, yeah, I mean, when you think of muralism, you think of big work, right, on walls, but I think this presents something very different. Um, and I, I finally like to thank the SFIC team for being just very generous with me, and also for the invitation to curate this show. Um, so I hope you enjoy the night, um, and if you have any questions about the show, please come up to me, ask any questions you want. Um, I'm pretty friendly, also pretty <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you.
takes the name from a beloved Manu Chao song, a personal anthem for the artist that works, performs, and leaves her mark on the streets of San Francisco. This exhibit traces four decades of muralizing the streets of San Francisco, showing many of my public works here, mostly those in the mission and at Stanford University Centro Chicano, as you see behind me. Many of these works are also collaborative. Although I have worked in other areas of the Bay, California, Pennsylvania, Nicaragua, and Mexico, this exhibit focuses on the heart of my obra, the works in the hood that birthed my career and stimulated its development. The effervescent cultural movements of the 80s in the mission gave me lifelong running partners, poets, performers, visual artists, and political activists that have created a sustaining web of compamadres, all too numerous to mention here. The poets Juan Felipe Herrera, Odilia Gabriel Rodriguez, Alice Walker, Jenny Lim, Devorah Major, Naomi Quinones, over there, and Leticia Hernandez Linares, somewhere in the room, um, have been amazing collaborators, and some of their poetry accompanies the works they inspired on these walls. And now we welcome a new poet to the circle, Stanford uh, graduate Araceli Mondragon with a poem The Scribe. I am also excited to share some of my most recent work with you, a new phase in my exploration of design in the form of book out illustrations for a graphic novel penned by my artist husband, Tirso Gonzalez Aravisa. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a passion project over seven years. From the time he initially set to paper the story he had been telling me for a long time, embellishing it and expanding it. The Cuento is based on a character from a Yucatec Mayan folktale, La Ixtabay, que se trata de una mujer mágica que es el espíritu de la, del árbol de la ceba. It, it, it's about this magical woman, La Ishtabai, who embodies the sacred ceiba tree, the central axis of the universe, or the Maya. La Ishtabai es famosa por sus poderes de seducción y por matar a sus víctimas y dejarlos en un abrazo espinoso al pie de la She's famous for her powers of seduction and for ravishing her victims in a thorny embrace, leaving them at the foot of the tree. But we all know what a nasty rap women get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we've turned the story into a more complex and nuanced tale, elevating Leish Babai from her former bad girl myth. It's not that she's lost her edge. The book we show here is a traditional folding or codex form. It's on this table here. Of course, we beseech that nobody actually touches the table. Thank you so much. Um, hand printed by serigrapher Manuel Tapia of Veracruz. This part of the edition is bilingual in Espanol and English. And we are also creating a version of the Maya, Yucateco, and Spanish which will debut at Merida's Museo de Antropología, the Museum of Anthropology, in December. <laughs> the printing of Leich Shalai, which includes excerpts and selected illustrations, and has also, has also been made into a regular bound book. I am fortunate to be able to tell stories with my amazing partner, whose imagination, humor, 
and literary brilliance has illuminated a new direction in my work. We are also deeply indebted to our cultural advisor, translator, and renowned poet from the Yucatec Mayan community, Pedro Puc Bey, who has helped guide the work with respect to the original inhabitants and caretakers of La Tierra de los Maya, the Yucatan Peninsula. We hope you enjoyed the exhibit and look forward to chismeando with you. <laughs> Thank you.